With the Iowa legislature in session and a big year ahead of us, a lot of people want to know the issues legislatures are talking about. Lawmakers say recovery from the coronavirus will be a first priority, but there are also other issues they want to prioritize that could impact Western Iowa residents. Three News Now Western Iowa reporter Isabella Basco talked to two state representatives about what comes next during an era of polarized politics. Iowa lawmakers are kicking off another legislative session this year, with Republicans holding a majority in both the House and Senate. Will Republicans go head to head with the Democrats or will there be some bipartisanship? Uh, I go into it with an attitude of uh, I'm not a red district and so I'm listening to people on both sides of, uh, of the political spectrum as well as the independents. Republican Brent Segrist is returning to the Iowa House of Representatives after leaving in 2002. He promises civility, but expects both parties to fight over spending since Iowa has a large surplus of $1.1 billion. In other words, it's like your savings account. If you spend that money on ongoing things, then eventually you, you have to keep finding money for it. Uh, so right now the Democrats are saying you got all this money and savings. Uh, we need to spend it. Democrat so, Charlie uh, McConkie is prioritizing providing adequate child care. That's something we need to work on. We've done a little on it. But there's no incentive for the companies to, you know, the tax breaks we give the companies to establish their own daycare center. Segris also has his own ideas on the issue. Child care tax credits or uh, making sure what we call the cliff. When you start to make a certain amount of money, your child care support stops and you just fall off the cliff. We got to graduate that. Uh, so that as you move up in the economic strata, you can you, you still get to receive some child care assistance from the government, but it's less the more you make. Improving workforce initiatives like broadband access in rural areas and ushering a safe return to schools will also be top priorities in the legislature. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. Segrist tells 3 News now in any given session, a couple thousand bills get introduced. In the end, generally 200 get passed.